ओके हाउ टू क्रैक सीसा नेट इन वन ईयर दैट इज ट्वेल्व मंथ्स ओके आई एम ग्लैड यू आस्ट आई रिसीव दिस क्वेश्चन नॉट वेरी मच बट लेस बट रियली इफ समबडी थिंक्स दैट वन ईयर इज द टाइम फ्रेम दैट अ पर्सन गेट्स टू क्वालिफाई सी एस आर नेट एग्जामिनेशन आई एल टेल दम येस दैट्स अ गुड साइन दैट यू हैव वन ईयर इन यूर हैंड एंड बेसिकली ऑल ऑफ अस Uh, who are preparing for CSA NET examination have more than one year in their hand for the preparation of NET exam because the age limit is quite uh, flexible, I believe. So in this case, you have one year. But what happens is that every single time the CSA NET examination is being conducted, students are eager to attend that exam. So they attend a every single exam in every six months, and that's what the coaching institutes want to do because that's what we flow money towards them. But in reality. one year is a very good time frame for the preparation of every single unit of the csa net examination properly in depth study to qualify csa net examination and one year study should be very good and well maintained throughout the years and once you prepare that properly that's going to definitely help you to grab your csa net fellowship but there is a downside that is in one year preparation time frame the more you read the more you'll forget because one year is a lot of time nowadays we are bombarded with so many things every single day so many unnecessary things that we even don't need in our life uh, it becomes very hard to uh, stay focused and uh, students get easily distracted so as a result of which uh, after 4 months 5 months 6 months they lose interest and they want to you know after 4 months of preparation of csa and life science they start thinking like upsc may be good maybe a good series on upsc comes out and students start thinking that upsc is a good choice for them and after few months uh, when they fail uh, at that then start thinking about you know let's go for ibps or let's go for uh, the rail or any other service like that uh, after few times like fail in that also they stick to something else like uh, fssi uh, and other streams you know what i mean this distraction need to stop and, and no matter how much i say this is not going to end for you that easily because you are the only person who can end this for you but still if you manage one year time frame in your head for the preparing csa and life science then that will be very good choice okay so let's begin to talk about one year preparation strategy for csa and life science exam so we'll begin with this preparation strategy and we have this simple mnemonics to all of you to understand the preparation strategy that is fabulous in depth preparation and tests this this sentence that we remember for your proper preparation and basically for this preparation i'll divide it into five different sections okay the whole preparation strategy can be divided into five different sections so we'll uh, write it down section 1 section 2 section 3 section 4 and section 5 five different steps of your preparation and in this whole preparation strategy you need uh, books the peer reviewed books you need uh, both the notebooks you need uh, the practice for the practice and preparation session obviously you need the pyqs previous year's question papers alongside what you need is your dedication and hard work that's most important among all this okay resources are still less convenient compared to what you should utilize okay so keep this in your mind the first things first is that uh, you need to be familiarized with the exam familiarized with the exam means what is the csa net exam what is the exam pattern exam timing the exam question papers you need to study last few years question papers you need to see the type of questions asked the depth of field the questions are asked from every single details you need to have a clear idea about the exam so exam idea must be clear and based on that idea based on your own capacity that's you know that uh, capacity only that how you can prepare whether you can prepare it properly or not within one year time frame i believe every single one of you have the credibility to prepare csa net within one year of time frame so do not underestimate yourself so here you need to build a solid study plan you need to build a study plan a study guide for yourself okay a routine for yourself when uh, you study where where you study which units you will study everything should be very clear in your uh, in front of your eyes and it's very important for your preparation for any kind of preparation you need to have a proper road map ahead of you so a study plan is something that you can build or someone can help you build this for example in shomus biology online coaching we provide the study plan to the students we provide the routine to the students and they can tweak them as per their requirement as per their 
uh, own routine uh, to fit it properly. So this is very important that you maintain this particular study plan and you must decide how many units you are going to qualify. Uh, you are going to read to qualify CS and examination. So uh, in one year preparation scheme, we believe that you can prepare 13 units. But still, uh, we can consider one thing that uh, even if you cannot prepare 13 units, you can at least prepare 10 units for the preparation. And those 10 units are unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 11 and 13. If not all the 13 units, but at least this 10 units, you must prepare for uh, the upcoming CS and examination if your target is 12 month preparation strategy. That is something that you should keep in your mind. This is the very first thing. And along with this first familiarization, you need to build your basics. Now, when I say build your basics, I mean you need to study everything from your peer reviewed books. Means uh, biochemistry from Leninger, cell biology from Gilbert, uh, cell biology for, from the Lodish or uh, the cell biology for, from Bruce Alberts, uh, molecular biology from Watson, uh, immunology from Kubi. Okay, uh, so like this, there are different books. I have already made a video regarding the best books for the preparation of CSN and life sciences. You can check that out. Uh, and also for your uh, convenience, I attach my book list here again in this video. I believe you can clearly see the number of books and the type of books that you need to read for individual units. Take a screenshot of that uh, video second and you have that in your hand. Now after the basics uh, are done, then the second step is in-depth preparation. The second one is in-depth preparation. This is a phase where you need to prepare everything in depth. Whether it's 8 unit, you are preparing 9 unit, you are preparing 10 unit or 13 units you are preparing you need to prepare them in depth you should read everything that's what you need to read uh, be it, uh, particularly the biochemistry unit one uh, unit two unit three unit uh, four let's say unit five unit six eight ten and thirteen i always want my students to at least follow this few units one two three four five six eight ten and thirteen because this is one two three four five six seven uh, eight nine all together nine units are out there among 13 but still if you prepare this nine units very very well in that that will obviously seal your spot for uh, qualifying say and examination so that is the time when you prepare in depth you should not leave anything behind everything that is under these topics you should read and obviously remember the prerequisite the familiarization with the question paper will tell you will guide you what part of the question is very important what part of a topic is very important and based on that you only read that particular part okay so when you read that particular part remember that's why you need to have a blueprint in your hand a heat map which is a trademark of shomus biology provide heat map analysis report based on the previous 10 12 question papers of csi net which topics are more important which subtopics are more important which is very very important you need to find it yourself or if you join any coaching institute that's their job to provide you so that is in-depth preparation time and this is something of two months again two more months for that two more months for that so for the basics two months for the in-depth preparation two months if you only need one month for the basics then you can go uh, the in-depth preparation for three months that's your choice now comes the third step and that is uh, the preparation and test so preparation is basically in-depth preparation is done and after that there is a revision 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 and tests so once your basics and in-depth preparations of any topic from all the 13 units of CSI net or any 10 units 9 units whatever units you choose are done then you start with the revision and revision is very very important I uh, want you to start revision after four months because it's a total six months course after four months you start revision uh, you start uh, looking at the topics that you have learned earlier uh, in your preparation scheme and start uh, checking them so revision is very very important and along with that you should start practicing question papers and what kind of question papers particularly the previous years question papers this is the time to practice PYQs previous years question papers and many of you ask me that uh, which model question you should follow which model question I answer always for the last 10 years that there's no model question to follow in CSI net only follow previous years question papers that will be enough 
believe me okay so in that case study from pyqs try to answer question from pyqs check where you lag and fix those go back and read them and come back so at this moment the, the preparation the revision and the pyq solve is going on all at once same so it'll start for the one month preparation time one month preparation time so we have two months done here two months done here and now one month total five months are gone now we have the fourth step and that is the final statement that this is where again for the tests and again for the revision test and revision now in this case test means not only pyqs because i believe you have already solved pyqs in the fifth month so in the sixth month this is a time where you should practice more and more questions and practice means not exactly just like open a book and check the question for the last year and try to solve it uh, for one two minutes and then just uh, check the answer and say oh okay it's fine that answer is due this is what students do right you see a question you see an answer you can correlate them most of the time but it's more important that you st stuck with the question and try to uh, try to answer it on your own try to find the options and if you cannot find the option properly then at least rank the options that uh, among these four ABCD options I believe that B is most appropriate then A then C then D like that and then check the answer to find out whether your thought process is correct or not it's very important to get a clear thought process while practicing previous year's question papers so from test and revision point of view at this moment uh, once PYQs are done here the test means mock test I believe mock test where you'll get a real-time test experience just like attending a text exam uh, like the CSI and like CBT mode for that you may have to join any coaching institute to offer that mock test series we also do offer mock test series and we offer that at the end two three months of the preparation part so where you can check your score not only uh, can uh, practice the question papers because but, but also along with that you need to be familiarized with the environment of the exam okay the time ticking and also answering the question selection bias everything you need to check that's what you need to test yourself here so test is important at the end and also along with that revision obviously you check the test results and you see whether you are good or not whether you are making more negative marking or not based on that you need to revise yourself and basically the revision here is something that you need to do uh, from uh, notes that you prepared during your basics and in-depth preparation basically in-depth preparation is the time uh, where you should keep notes okay it's very important to keep notes many of you may say that taking notes is time consuming I believe it's totally wrong concept taking note is never time consuming while you make your own notes that is at another level of preparation uh, and if I give you a straight ahead note that's another level of preparation I always tell my students we do provide notes in our coaching we do provide books and everything but still I told them that please go through every single lecture and make your own notes and when I say make your own notes not likely making paragraphs after paragraphs no paragraph study is prohibited in the first in the last month last one or two months of the CSI net preparation no you should not go with the paragraph study because paragraphs will consume more time paragraphs will demand your more time it's not required it's not desired what we want instead is that we want you to write down only important points and from topics and subtopics of the 13 units and just write them down topics that you did not know write them down and every single thing that you need to write it down in your notebook keep tables okay graphs and also flow charts utilize flow charts graphs and tables and everything for your better preparation for a better understanding at this moment so this is very very important for in-depth study while you do in-depth study this part is very very necessary once that part is done then you can move to the next then you can move to all these things because at this moment once notes are done in the test and revision the final month you can easily revise through those tables because tables are something that you can take a pre print out or just uh, scrap the page and you can stick it somewhere in your house you can clearly see your mind map processes thought processes we are building a mind map series a mind map series for all of you for this upcoming one year of preparation I want all of you to stay with us for this one year of preparation where this mind map series is going to immensely help you for your revision strategies that's our plan is in the upcoming times with CSI and it. let me know whether the plan is good for you or not in the comment section because I'm going to do that for you I'm going to make a group where I'll add all the students out there and I'll post those mind maps and also discuss about that which will definitely help you in the preparation so this is something that you should do at the end so this is how this is the fourth step preparation strategy that I 
want my students to follow this is the four step strategy basically what we followed when we qualified at that time when because not that much first was there not that many that many you know sources were there so it was very easy for us to focus on only any particular thing only one or two things but now there are so many uh, things there are so many uh, videos that are popping out there are so many uh, coaching institutes that are coming out so it becomes very difficult for a student to choose like the, the selection process is always immense that I choose this or that one or two three or four so it's very very important that you should have a very clear picture in your mind a very crystal clear clarity in your mind that you need to qualify you have to qualify this exam what is the reason you have to qualify for this exam why you started preparation in the first place and everything so that you can continue in that direction and follow this particular strategy patterns for cracking CS and exam in six months follow these strategies and you can easily crack CS and life science exam in six months so that is the best six month preparation strategy for CS and net life sciences I believe you have a clear idea about this you can take a screenshot for that if you want to and if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that because I have two more videos there you can watch that uh, CS and net preparation strategy for one year CS and net preparation strategy for one month and also let me know whether the idea of uh, the mind map series is important and to build the group and adding you in the group and continue with the mind map series is important for you or not. Thank you everyone. Bye.